what's happening everybody welcome back to twr i hope you are all doing well and taking care of yourselves uh so today we got a little bit of a different angling today because well i messed around and knocked over the tripod and broke the top off and so it won't screw back on the thing and thingamajigam and so now i just kind of got to hold the ring light while it holds the phone so that that's what it is i apologize in advance for the wobbly wobbliness of this video i'm gonna do my best to not fidget like i normally do uh but uh no promises so i just in advance i apologize if this video is just uh you know hurts your head and makes you just want to turn it off because i'm wiggling too much so uh but anyway so i have gotten a new enclosure for my girl beetlejuice who's my new doom rose boa um and i just kind of wanted to show that to you but before i show you that one I kind of want to show you something that I sort of moved her out of this was it this isn't the one but there was one similar to it uh this one has my uh albino boa in it now this is a pretty shallow enclosure as you guys can see and I bet some of you are like hmm that doesn't look like a very suitable enclosure uh and and for some snakes it probably wouldn't be however for this particular snake which is my like I said it's my albino boa anybody who has been uh, subscribe to me long enough knows about the snake for those of you who don't know uh luna here has a pretty gnarly uh neurological issue uh it makes it really difficult for her to be able to move herself around uh without the assistance of being able to pull or push herself uh like there's just somewhere along the middle parts of her body that just don't know how to do anything and so she compensates for that by having to like you kind of get, get her head around something and pull herself along while simultaneously pushing herself from the other end um uh, and so in this enclosure i had her in a bigger enclosure before um and she did okay but she really struggled she didn't move much and then i never really saw her climbing much and i think it's just because she didn't have a lot of anchor points of being able to really maneuver the way she needed to um meaning having a lot of push and pull points and so i did end up shifting her into this one um and, and it may seem shallow but for her it's perfect because she's able to just kind of push and pull herself off the back so the walls and the sides uh, as well as in, in 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 there's like there's just not a whole bunch of space for her to just get lost in she has lots of anchor points where she can pull and pull herself i get to see her moving around in this a lot more i often see her like literally curled up like a green tree boat pot python like right here on this branch but otherwise she's always kind of stretched out climbing up along this one and moves around a lot more in this enclosure than she ever did in a bigger enclosure now obviously she's going to grow out of this right now she's still uh she's probably about as long as it is long i think she's probably got this whole foot more to go and i think this is about four feet so she's about four feet long she's got like a bit of maybe foot to grow in this before i'm like okay i guess i need to get her to something different um and but but when i do get her into something different i will be able to actually keep in mind all about her neurological issues and when i do get it built i will probably have some uh like some set anchor points built into it so for her so that she can properly push and pull herself around uh like i wouldn't have those anchor points maybe for any of my other snakes because they don't need it they're able to properly move their bodies but she's going to need something where there are anchored uh like built-in anchor points for her because she just like pulls and pushes and it makes it really difficult to put decor or sticks or anything in there because like her attempt to just move around on those will just yank the sticks and, and everything just out of position uh because she relies on pulling and pushing so much which is why this has been working significantly more because there's not a lot of space for the sticks to be pushed and pulled from like it's all snugly in there and so when she does like get on it and start pulling and moving herself about it doesn't move so for now that works but when i build her a larger enclosure i will absolutely keep that in mind <clears throat> sorry i will absolutely keep that in mind and make sure that uh we get anchors put in and i'm going to be thinking about some designing for that and how that would actually look for her uh in the long run but so yeah that is luna girl and uh, i'm really excited to Go on over here and show you Beetlejuice, not Beetlejuice, it's good gracious, <laughs> Bellatrix's enclosure, uh, her upgrade now, because like I said, she wasn't one of these, which sort of worked for her uh, just as a temporary basis, but I knew I already had this in order, ready to go, and it was just going to be here in a couple of days, so I just needed to hold out, so she was in something similar to this, or like pretty much almost exactly like this, but the other one, um, and so now she's upgraded into her new enclosure, and we're going to check it out. And this here is the new enclosure that I had built 
uh, custom built for my uh, large Dumoulos Boa Bellatrix. Uh, it is just uh, it was made by a local person here. Uh, she also created the one that uh, Tigger is in there, as well as the black and white one that is out in my living room that holds um, Beetlejuice. I mean, not Beetlejuice. Um, Maleficent and Tigger in it, so she's uh she's been slowly building up her rapport and is like really making a name for herself here as that kind of the person to go to when you're looking for something customly built, uh just kind of good solid wood enclosure. So this is mine and it is six by two by two, uh it is just a nice good black on it. I've got my frog sitting on top, uh and you can see down here there is. My beautiful Dumoulos boa all curled up back there. Uh, now, so she was in, actually it was, it was that one right there. Uh, that was a bad angle. So if, when she was in that, uh, she, she wouldn't stop moving because I just don't think she liked it. It was just not a very big space for her. Uh, and she didn't appreciate, she didn't appreciate not having more space than that. And so she was just constantly moving. And so I spent a lot of time just kind of opening the doors of that one, letting her spend her time out whenever I was home, just because I know that it wasn't very suitable, but I also knew that this, this was coming, uh, in a few days. And so I just, I made it, made it do so, but she is looking a lot happier in this one. She's actually able to settle down somewhere, uh, and not continue to move and be active again. So she's definitely doing, seeming to be happier in this one uh, but yeah we'll take a little bit better of a look here see if I can get a good angle without that glare all right so this is it now it does not have a water bottle in it right now it does have one I don't have it in because I just did a spot clean that was behind it so as I just forgot to put it back in so don't be worried about that but uh, there's a good hide for her over here. There's more I want to do to it. I mean, it just got kind of got here, and so I just kind of wanted to get her into it as soon as possible. It's pretty, pretty bare and simple right now, but it is something that uh, is going to be able to be built onto and do good. So I'm liking the walls. I think it's just like a vinyl that she put on the walls just to emulate the wood. I still wanted the wood look, but I didn't like the, you know, just the white wood that this is made out of. So I asked for a wood-like vinyl wall. Uh, and underneath the substrate, there are tiles to protect, even more protect the wood that's underneath that. So the substrate uh, won't have too much damage on the wood beneath the tiles as well uh, as I can put a heating pad underneath the tiles and uh it will go 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 through the tile but not wouldn't go as well through the wood so that's why that is like that however i do not have um any heating source on here right now and i'm not going to get into that that is a whole other topic uh that i definitely want to talk about um but i'm not going to get into it right now so there's no heating source on this one at this time in some of my other ones as well but like I said I don't really want to talk about that one right now I will talk about that in another video but I just wanted to kind of show you the upgrade I did uh, got a uh, got a blah, got my doom rose boa moved out from that very small enclosure there uh, to a much bigger enclosure where she can have space to just do her stuff and she seems to be a lot more content in this than uh, and her other one, so, yeah, I'm excited to just kind of make this a bit better, get some more decor, I'm just kind of like, all the decor I have right now is just like, mm, not my favorite, so I'm like, I'm needing to go and get some more, uh, just to make it better, so maybe need to get some more from the shop, as well as hit some Dollar Tree, some Hobby Lobbies, and stuff like that, just to get some pretty cool decor, but yeah, so, uh, there she is, that is Bellatrix, my Dumeril's Boa, in her brand new, uh, 6 by 2 by 2 enclosure. So, there you guys have it. Uh, talked a little bit about Luna, and what she's doing, and why she's in that enclosure. Um, so yeah, there you are. Uh, I hope you all doing well, taking care of yourselves, love yourselves, love your loved ones, love your reptiles, and you all keep spreading those herbs.